the arena in Brooklyn tonight. Stephen. Peter, there were protesters here at the Barclay Center trying to use the royal visit to draw more attention to the chokehold death of a black New York man at the hands of police. As for the reception for the royals, that was cordial. I remember when uh, George was born, I forgot I to actually work out whether it was a boy or girl. The excitement of the event and everything else was just chaos. <laughs> so, <laughs> it's something like, oh, actually, it's a boy. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Prince William started his day with a brief trip to Washington, sitting down with U.S. President Barack Obama. Later, he called on the World Bank to fight the sale of endangered species. It is true that like any organized crime, the illegal wildlife trade is a many-headed hydra. Tackling it will be a complex challenge. But complexity brings out the best in human ingenuity. The Duchess highlighted one of her interests as well, visiting a school for disadvantaged children in Harlem, though some of the kids thought she was Princess Elsa from Frozen, not the Duchess of Cambridge. Local residents, though, appreciated having the Duchess here. It's not all about the glamour, the parties and all that. It's about the little things, you know, like helping, helping a mother that doesn't have anywhere else to take her kids for the day, you know? Greetings from Canada! There was a small crowd for Kate's visit, but fans were enthusiastic. It's like everybody's dream to marry a prince, and she's, she hasn't messed up at all. She's done nothing wrong. She's more pretty in person than on, than on TV. Much prettier in person. Later, Hillary Clinton co-hosted a reception for Prince William. Their royal highnesses. The Duke and Duchess capped their night, meeting America's version of royalty, basketball superstar LeBron James. Meanwhile, outside the venue for the game, demonstrators came to show their unhappiness over the decision not to charge a New York police officer for the chokehold death of an unarmed black man. The royal couple were kept far away from the protests outside the arena. The couple will strike a serious note with their trip tomorrow with a visit to the National 9-11 Memorial, and then they will end their U.S. visit with a star-studded fundraiser for their alma mater, St. Andrews University in Scotland, the school where the couple first met. Peter. Stephen D'Souza in New York tonight. Thanks, Stephen. Montrealers lined up by the thousands again today to pay tribute to Jean Beliveau. Former Canadians captain died last week at the age of 83. Fans came to pay their respects to the